All right, so we got to grab the shoes, go down there, and then book it to the top. See, this is why it gave me so much time at that hand, because uh, oh, I should have jumped right when I hit the switch. Because it's got to give you enough time to go up here. Oh god, I failed so hard at this last time. Wait a minute. Oh! I gotta do like speedrun shit. Oh my god, are you serious? What the absolute fuck? I was totally in the hole, man. Fine, whatever. Let's try it again. This time with certain speedrun tactics. Alright, let's try this again. Speedrun tactics. Alright, now I start a whole foot ahead of where I was. Use proper cornering. Wait, does jumping let me go faster in a straight line? Okay, I barely made it. Now what the hell is in here? I uh oh. I don't remember this at all. What the f Now what is going on here? Oh, wait, is there Do I collect a jiggy in all the water drains? <gasps> oh! So I drained the water somehow. And then this is how I get all the shit that's at the bottom of that quicksand pit that I was talking about. Yes! It all makes sense to me now. Alright, do I need health? No, I don't. So I'm gonna ignore these guys because I don't want to use my gold feathers. You know, I, I genuinely think the uh, N64 controller, the control stick, had a lot more precision, precision than um, an Xbox 360 controller. Actually, it's an Xbox One controller uh, emulating a Nintendo 64 analog stick. Also, this is really interesting underwater music. Hard to believe they would add more percussion to it when we're underwater. Alright, let's not fucking drown. And I have done it at least once in this playthrough. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to that fucking hand. That totally shouldn't be a problem. Apparently enemies sometimes respawn because I know I killed that dude. I knows it. I seen it. Alright, so... Alright, so this isn't Mario 64. I can't have both the waiting boots and the uh, speed boots. Alright, no need for speedrun tactics because it gives me plenty of time here. Alright. Let's go! Maybe I should, like, not... Maybe I shouldn't jump. Maybe I should just run straight toward it. What? Um... One more time, one more time. Oh, I think I have to get it as it's coming back up. You've had it for a thousand years. How's it feel that a five-year-old bear beat you, <laughs> beat you on your stupid little puzzle? 
All right, so I've already got eight jiggies out of ten in this level. I've already gotten the Jinjo thing. I'm pretty sure that one of the two things that I still need to do is inside this pyramid here. This this level is just full of pyramids. Is it just me or does my commentary seem to flow a little bit better when I don't know how many people are watching me on Twitch right now? <laughs> Plus, face it, I'm not getting any YouTube viewers. All my viewers have been on Twitch. How many times do I need to? Okay, good. Die for it. All right, so this is one of the easier timed things. Oh, I remember this. This is really cool. Before I, before I do the mission in here, let me tell you one of the things that I used to get tripped out by. I used to think this... This room was a square. So you can imagine my fucking utter shock when I was like, okay, here's one side of the square. Side two. Side three. Side four? What? Wait. I fucked that joke up. Wait, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, side four. And I was like, where's the in where's the exit at? Oh, it's one more over. How are there five sides in the square? I never noticed before that was a pentagon. Yeah, I was a dumb kid. Well, obviously not because I was better at games then than I am now. <laughs> Wait, why am I frozen for this? Oh, I'm talking to this guy. You ever play Counter-Strike Global Offensive? You know those counter-terrorists that have the, like, the... The big old hats. I think they're French. Or are they Chinese? I don't know, but they have like hats like this thing, like this guy here has. And they're there to protect freedom. From stopping the terrorists from bombing a fountain full of fish or empty boxes. Oh god, there's a glitch in the matrix. Yes! Ah! Hurry up and get on his head. Because I don't want to have to climb up this fucking snake's slimy ass neck. I'll be honest, I forgot this, uh, I forgot this room existed. As I was playing through this. Joe, why'd you leave me? You just come in and donated one bits? I think he was offended that I, uh... That I mentioned that... There aren't any... There are no alerts anymore if you donate only one bit. It's not because of you, Joe. It's because... Another, uh, dedicated... Uh, viewer. What the f- Is Gobi over by the tree at the beginning of the level? Because one of my dedicated viewers used to have a habit of like spamming the- spamming one bit over and over and so it would just be an endless ding 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 It's like god damn it why? Okay, yes, this is how I get my last jiggy. Alright, do I have both honeycomb pieces is the question. I don't. Fuck. Uh-oh. Where do I find it? But I need all my water for myself. You greedy bastard. Sounds like... Sounds like a... Sounds like capitalist propaganda, but okay. Where did he go? Uh... If I follow him, do I get another honeycomb piece?
ultimate victory. All right, so. These shoes, I'm sure, are here just to tell you, hey, you need these shoes for later. But you got to learn them first. But they also serve a useful purpose of, uh, you know, letting you traverse the level faster. All right, so is he up here? Can never tell for sure. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. Ugh. Yes, it's a honeycomb piece. I swear to God. Yes, hundred percent. Let's find some peace and quiet. I wonder where you'll go. I wonder if we'll see you in a future level. All right, cool. Uh-oh. Oh no, my health got refilled. I was gonna kill myself to get out of here faster, but I have too much health, so I'm not going to. Alright, just making sure I got everything. 110-2. Alright. Good. By the way, I keep thinking I'm still playing the, uh... Xbox Live Arcade version of this. So I keep pressing, like, actually B on my- on my control- on my Xbox controller. But that's my C down button. Yeah, in case you're wondering, A and X are of course my A and B. B and Y are my C up and down, non-respectively. My bumpers are my C left and right. R is Z and left, oh wait, wait, uh, right trigger is Z. Left trigger is R. Select this L because I can use that to like skip cutscenes and stuff. All right. Um. Well. Let's go to Freeze Easy Peak. Because there's one thing that we need to do in there. What's the next level after this, by the way? After Gobi's Valley? I forget. Is it... Mad Monster Mansion? How many levels have I been through so far? In fact, let me check right now. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there's three more to go. So yeah, next one's Mad Monster Mansion, and then Rusty Bucket. And then the most fun slash um, tedious of them all. <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> Clinker Clinker's Cave Cavern again. What's it called? I don't know. Anyway, next time on Banjo Kazooie. We're going to jump down the slide. Whee! I'll be honest, I almost forgot to stop my recording.